honestly can't figure out how I scored you, but I'll definitely keep you. You've taught me to be caring, generous, and completely selfless. You've taught me to work hard and think about others first, always. You have been such a blessing in my life. You are going to be more than I ever thought to ask for in a husband. I can't wait to spend a lifetime laughing, growing, and loving each other. Every promise I make to you today in front of our family and friends comes from the deepest part of my heart. I will always be by your side, your biggest fan. I was the luckiest girl in the room the night we met, and I am the luckiest girl today. I cannot wait to be your bride. Okay. Love is not an affectionate feeling, but rather, it's a steady wish for the other person's ultimate good. So if love is not a feeling, then what is it? Well, God is love, and in creating love, He designed it to be something unique. He designed it to be a verb, put into action, that we would choose to love one another despite our temporary emotions or feelings. And if He created love to be a verb, then the love that you are feeling today is the fruit that is bore when love is treated as he created it to be, as an action. <laughs> oh, you look good. Who gives Kristen to be married to this man? Her mother. Jeremiah and Kristen, you made it. You have reached yet another finish line, the end of dating. But I know you both are wise enough to see that this just marks the beginning of another season. A season that will be longer and more joyous than ever before. It's the beginning of a new stage of your love for one another, where you get to rejoice on the mountaintops and dig deep together in the valleys, where you get to sing songs of joy and draw close in your mourning. And most of all, 
where you get to love deeper than ever before because you know that you are better together. I met Kristen through my fiance. They were roommates at the time and Kristen was immediately welcoming and I liked her from the start. Kristen is hardworking, she's joyful, she's passionate, and most of all, she's kind. I met Jeremiah on a frigid night in Laramie, Wyoming for the Wyoming versus Air Force football game. Go Pokes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah was welcoming from the start and he's since been a steady friend and for that I'm thankful. I promise to trust you and respect you. I will be forgiving and encouraging. I will be committed to joining our two families into one. I will cherish the moments when it's just the two of us and Kona, and cherish the moments when our family grows. I promise to always laugh with you and stand by your side during the good times and the bad. I promise to never stop dancing. I am so excited to spend the rest of my life by your side. I love you. I love you. Can I give you this ring? Can I give you this ring? As a token of my love and commitment. As a token of my love and commitment. To live with you in the covenant of marriage. To live with you in the covenant of marriage. From this day forward. <laughs> From this day forward. From this day forward. Now as you two move forward in this covenant of marriage and the blessing that it is, remember the emotions that you're feeling right now. Pure joy, affection, gratitude, and love. Jeremiah, you may kiss your bride. Something that I wanted to say is when you were asking me to tell this story that I had thought of when I first said it was a story when we were kids. We were playing football with, I wanted to play football with some of your friends that they had recess at elementary school or whatever. And uh, some of them started picking on me and making fun of me and, and, and whatever. It, was, it wasn't a big deal, but I remember you coming over and saying, knock it off said you can't play unless he plays, basically. And I, that's been the type of person you've always been to me, always willing to stick up for me. <laughs> you've always been there for me, I appreciate it. Um, I know, uh, he, he is he is. Um, I'm so happy that you're in the family. I, usually they say, you know, the brides have this shine about them. When I first met you and saw Jared, 
he had that shine too. So um, I, I loved being able to just watch you guys be together. I met Kristen on our very first day of college at the University of Wyoming in the dorms. She was my next door neighbor. I liked her red spread and I immediately knew that I wanted to be her friend. I don't think she felt the same way about me initially. <laughs> An important thing we learned about Kristen from the very beginning was how much Jeremiah meant to her. She was so confident from the very beginning that Jeremiah would be the man that she spends the rest of her days with. When I met Jeremiah for the very first time, I knew that he was just as confident as Kristen was. I had never seen two people just know. A year later, these two would be my biggest supporters if I met my future husband. You have been a long-time confidant, the sweetest encourager, and one of my deepest friends. You're more like a sister than a friend. You will make the most wonderful life. And then we lived two doors down from each other, but we're together every second we weren't in our own bed sleeping. Many of you know that Kristen and Jeremiah have done a long-distance relationship for about four years. Um, our freshman year, impressively, Kristen drove down to Denver every single weekend to see Jeremiah. And you know, it wasn't easy for you guys. But it definitely brought me closer as a couple and taught you guys to love each other well in the short run times that you have got to spend with each other. And Chris, you are like a sister to me. You bring the stillness and the calmness into our friendship. You are gracious, but also honestly, afraid to speak truth in time I need it. You are wise, committed, you are compassionate, but choose to see the good in others. And you walk in humility, yet are confident in who you are. And you are going to be the best wife for Jeremiah. Raise your glass and cheers to Chris and Jeremiah. Let's go.